See gravity ten times fast. Gravity, 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 gravity. Gra Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Glad to be here, Jeff. Glad to be here, Jeff. <laughs> All right, up on the board. Oh, are be astronomy. Questions range from first grade through the fifth grade. First grade astronomy. Your first correct answer. Okay, the curriculum has changed. We did not learn astronomy in first grade. And if you get it right, you'll win one million dollars. Oh. Remember, if it is Jeff, 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 slow down. To be too high, you can a, a million dollars. Up to that point. And you can step what? out of our little school. Okay. No, 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 I'm gonna play. Your gonna classmates play. are taking the same test as you. Couple Jeff, of Jeff, ways. Jeff, Jeff. First, you're gonna have to say that. Jeff, you're gonna have to say that again, man. Oh, a, mil to a million dollars. To Cheat once, Jeff, I'm not listening. Gone, Jeff, you said you a, 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 a million dollars. Wait, if I don't win, will he get a million dollars? So we can, we can just split 50 50. Pick us up. Okay, so this is American curriculum. And it is well known that Americans learn a lot more than Canadians when it comes to the school system, right? We didn't learn astronomy <laughs> in first grade, second grade social studies. Okay, I got this. I got this. Here's the question. <laughs> I'm shooting. I'm going to peek. I'm going to have to peek at my classmates answer. <laughs> May we please see what the classmate's answer was? He picked Sage, right? Oh. If that's the answer you want to go with, lock it in. No, 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 don't drop out. Only reason why this kid knows these answers is because he no, is in fifth grade. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, well, I didn't learn dollars. what spices were found in food in Indian cuisine in like second grade social studies. All. Sage grows on other continents. I never learned this. Reading. Up. It's gonna be okay. in in the fifth page of the Great Gatsby. Is... True or false? Did do we in the Dewey Decimal System books? Books about astronomy are found in the 500 section. Response. Let me let you in on some information here. What what is this? Third grade? Third grade reading? We were given like children's children's books that were on a shelf, and I'd always go for the comics, like the Bones series, Amulet. Not once, not once would I go for the math books or the the. The storybooks that are like 800 pages long. I wouldn't do that. Nobody would. And also, I don't think the Dewey Decimal System books about astronomy, or whatever the fuck the Dewey Decimal books are, were in the classroom. That is saved for high school grade 9. Astronomy wasn't even a, a thing. You learn about the solar system. That's it. You learn that in science. You learn that in the science section. I'm locking that in. Locking in. Jeff, <laughs> one million dollars. You've got two. $1,000. Jeff. All right. Jeff, we're, get, we're getting up there. First grade health. We don't learn, okay. never learned health in first grade. Here that was for the fourth grade. The where you learn about the anatomy. And uh, write about if you were a goldfish, how would you go down through the body's digestive system? True or false, the skeleton consists of all the bones in your body. Um, yes. The skeleton does consist of all the bones in your body. If this is false, I've been lied to my entire go. life. I'm smarter, I swear. Pick another subject. Uh, well, Jeff, we're gonna go with second grade music. Okay. In Beethoven's fifth piece, what notes were played board, in the first five seconds of the song? Uh, in what habitat would you find a gray squirrel? Grassland? You'd find them in a forest. All right, your answer's locked in. <laughs> so much is on the line. Fifty grand is on the line. Jeff. 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 Well, that took a while, but you got it right. Ooh. All right. <sighs> In addition to nuts, squirrels are also known to eat insects and small birds. Well, I didn't know that. In 10 degrees Fahrenheit is how many degrees Celsius? That's got to be zero, right? Because zero degrees Fahrenheit is below freezing. Or no, it's zero, zero. Zero might be zero, so it might be eight. Yeah, because if it's 10... <laughs> Locking in. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. We we only measure Celsius here in Canada. 
There's right answers, and then there's wrong oh, answers. Oh, Jeff, don't do this to and me. And that belongs in the second group. Oh. It is zero. No. It is zero. Or is it negative? No, it's negative. Right there, it's negative 12. Answer. Oh. Are you dumber than a fifth grader? Are you dumber than a fifth grader? Are you smart enough to show your skill? So okay, we'll do first grade spelling because it's gonna be right, that's gonna be super fucking easy. Okay. Which of these letters is not a vowel? Um, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Oh. Uh. Juliet has locked in her answer. Fuck. Well, it's it's H E I O A. So it's got to be Y. Well, no, it's not. A is not. H E O U X. So it's Y and A. Which of these letters is not a vowel? H E I O X. Well, U is not even in there. Hold on, is he asking which one is a vowel? Which of these letters is not a vowel? F fuck. Okay. Um. H. It's got to be H is the, the only one that is a vowel. There you go. This is this You're is nice fucking try. Trick questions, right? You're funny. So there was no trick questions on the thought. test, huh? And there was. I fucking knew it. The vowels, of course, are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. E, I, I and O. Why? It's H, I, O, X. Yeah, sure, sure. Pick your next subject. Fucking first grade. Yeah, right. Jeremy. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Buddy, I'm gonna cheat off you on this next one. Yeah. Uh. His fucking soul just left his body. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, did Jeremy just teleport to Mutant? I didn't know we were in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, X-Men. <laughs> uh, Jeff, 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 Jeff. Animal science. Okay. Yeah, I, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be a veterinarian. Jeff. Is it true or false? The following animal is invertebrate. The fuck does that Jeremy mean? Hold on, what does invertebrate response. mean? They have it. They have a vertebrae. They don't have bones. False. Camel has bones. Lock in my a rat is invertebrate. Invertebrate animals do not have a backbone. Oh, okay. Uh, great math. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with twenty-five thousand dollars, no matter what happens Jeff, the rest of the game. Jeff, I'm not gonna need that twenty-five grand because I'm getting a million. It costs fifty cents to send a package, Lewis and Peter only has eight cent stat stamps. How many stamps will Peter have? Well, uh, 5 times 10. Oh no, we'd have to do... How many times can 8 go into 50? Well, 8, 16, 24, 32, 42. Wait, no, 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 no. If the stamps are 8 cents... Wait, no, 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 go back. It's 6, Jeff. get the feeling you didn't quite get all you could... No! Jeff, 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 let me go back. There you go. No, 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 no. Jeff, it was six. Oh, man. That's just incredible. He didn't let me unlock my answer, and so when I pressed X... Classmate's answer. Yes, You stupid fucking brat. Stupid fucking brat. Yes, yes! You're making me look stupid by choosing the right answer. You've got twenty. But also, my math was wrong. It was seven, not six. You're Fuck awesome. You, Lois. Thank you. <laughs> that sounded so disingenuous. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you. The kid's not getting any of the fucking money. Real geography, Jeff. Okay, one, On which continent? Well, it's Africa. Is it? Is so the Amazon is not in spot. Africa or South America. The Amazon River. No, that's in Africa. Is it? A, is it? Oh, no. Is it Asia? Is it Asia? What's the correct answer? It's South fucking America. Bye bye, everybody. Are you smarter than a fifth grade? What translates instructions from our DNA Alicia into much proteins? In much needed proteins. It's the cytoplasm. It's gotta be cytoplasm, Mark. I mean, Lock Jeff. In. I don't remember this stuff. There you go. You're I took science in. three years ago. No, I fuck? I'm sorry. It, it's mitochondria, oh. isn't it? Let's see if your partner can handle this one. 
Oh, sorry. I guess that really it is mitochondria. Does this kid know RNA isn't real? Oh, f <laughs> oh fuck. Didn't learn that shit That's in what, first, gr partner. third, and fifth grade? Just out. At zero dollars. Oh, no, believe... Um, All right, it is time to say we don't have any other guests words. on for tonight, so... I am not smarter uh, than a to commercials grader. for the rest of the night. I just... I mean, what do you do in this scenario? You're gonna have like 50 different guests lined up. So if the first guy goes up, it takes like 15 minutes to set up, introduce him. Like, what are you doing here? Okay, where'd you come from? It's like, yeah, Jeff, you know, I think I can win that million bucks. Yada yada. And then he doesn't get the first question right. And he's gotta go down, he's gotta go. Do you just bring out the next guy immediately? And what if he gets, what if he does it? What if he gets zero? And then the next guy, he gets zero. I know, very rare, probably never gonna happen. What, what happens if that does happen? Does the show just go on for 15 minutes and then they cut it for the night? What do you do in that scenario? George. George, you gotta help me here. Did you take uh, astronomy in fifth grade? I'm assuming okay. you did. The $1,000 question is... Locking in. Oh, Mercury. Oh, I didn't read that part. You are now locked me, in. You gotta save me. I'm not embarrassing myself again on TV. You gotta save me, man. Let's see if your classmate days. knows this stuff any better than you it's do. It's 88 days. I guess that really was a tough one. <laughs> we'll play again, Jeff. What you're gonna do here is just... pick out which fifth grader... <laughs> this guy keeps putting me on the show just out of really pity. Tough questions. Please, he keeps getting zero. Uh, eventually, he'll get the answer right. Okay, we're doing we're doing the first grade so we can get past the first round. What is the opposite of the word behind? Ahead. Well, I think it might be ahead, Jeff. What is Canada? It's a tree. Yeah, Canada's a tree. Okay, these these are the pity questions that Jeff has started throwing in there. Jeff's in the in the writers' room, you know, writing the questions with these guys. He's like. Uh, we're having the guy who's not getting past the first question back on. We gotta, we gotta give him some freebies. Please, All right. Okay. Let's uh, so me, we can ask him, it. what, what is Canada? State, country, whatever. Yeah, no one can mess that yes. up. Uh, Jeff, Canada's a tree. Uh, do are you it's sure? Another subject. Yeah, Je Jeff, I'm locking in my answer. Canada is a tree. That is correct. Correct. All See, right. whenever, whenever a TV host does that is very sadly, you know the person's got it correct. And you're not fooling anyone. It's been done a million different times. I'm sorry. That is correct. You just won one grand. I'm gonna it's really a go. Well, that is incorrect. I'm sorry. Get their hopes up. Dave, let me tell you. This may be the first ever time someone has done anything like this. Jeff, 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 slow down. Did I win the one million dollars? Now, David, is there anyone you'd like to thank before going on to the next question? Um, 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 I'd like to thank my mother and my, and my, and my, my father and my grandparents. Jeff, is this really happening? Well, David, I'm afraid I'm going to have to tell you you were incorrect on the last question. You have not won one million dollars. In fact, you have won 50 grand. <laughs> Jeff, 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 what? Why? Why would you? I'm afraid you're gonna have to leave with 50 grand. It's been a pleasure having you on the show. Cut to commercials. <laughs> Why? I'm fucking sweating. <clears throat> I need a cup of water. What kind of diet does an earthworm have? He's a herbivore. George is it Detrivor Detrivorous? Never heard of this. So I've never studied the earthworm in whatever grade. But he's, he doesn't eat plants. They eat dirt. <laughs> Worms eat dirt. They're herbivores. Don't be a fucking idiot. That very well could be the right answer. But it's not. Aww. It is Detrivorous. Because they eat fucking no. dirt, right? Consuming decaying matter. That's what a Detrivor is. Which subject okay. do you want? But they also eat fruits. They also eat leaves. I've seen them do okay. it. Uh, we're going fourth grade physical science. All right, for $175,000. On the periodic table, what element three. is represented in the letters HG? Mercury. 
It's Mercury. Okay. <clears throat> I'm locking in my answer. Uh, Jeff, no. No, 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 Jeff. Jeff, I'd never... They took my phone. They, you know, they, they took my phone. Let me see here. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Out of, out of my pocket. Oh, oh, oh. You were on your phone. No, I didn't search it up. I didn't search it. Jeff, I swear to God. Don't give me no questions about fucking Shakespeare. Who wrote the poems, the Mad Gardener's Song, and the Walrus, and the Carpenter? Juliet has locked in her answer. Who wrote the poems, the Mad Gardener's Song, and the Walrus, and the Carpenter? Jeff, you know, I, I, I pulling this out the depths of my brain, because I remember reading this in fifth I know, grade. I know this one. It's, it's got to be Lewis Carroll. That's it? That's the right answer. <sighs> Excellent. If I leave, do I get 300 grand? Nicely. Okay. The five hundred thousand dollar question is a mollusk, a mollusca. Oh, which one is not? Which of the following animal is not a phylum mollusca? Is a mollusca different from a phylum mollusca, or is that just the scientific name of mollusk? It's got to be a. Tr I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. You fucked this up for me, kid. I'm going to strangle you. Oh. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. It's not the right You're answer. You're going for $500,000. It's not the right answer. No, I'm sorry. It's a no! fucking pro, but I should have known. Uh, I can't believe it. She went with my fucking gut. And the correct answer is... It's a trilobite. Ah. Uh, 25 now. grand. What a moron I am. Oh, uh, now repeat after we're winning. Me. We're getting to that million dollar not. question. Well, finally, it's been like eight weeks and we've had the same guy on getting the fucking first question wrong for the Thanks past for me. 15 episodes. And you give me these questions and you expect you me to be dumber right than a fifth grader? Fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Pick another no, subject. Jeff, I'm 35 years old. I know you're supposed to be funny and all, but you're just making common misunderstandings that make you sound, frankly, stupid. And honestly, I don't think you're fit for being a TV show host because you're just doing generic tropes and stuff. People want to see something different, right? You're just not going to play out for much longer. But anyways, I'll take physical education. Oh, fuck. If we call gravity on Earth 1G or 1 gravity, what is the gravity? The zero is gravity. They get zero gravity. No gravity. That's a fun okay, word. Gravity. 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 See gravity ten times fast. Gravity. 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 Fuck. Gravity. 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 Now where I come from, they call that a correct answer. Yes. See, you're saying the same thing over and over, Jeff. Like you're gonna lose your job soon. Maybe I'll repair you. Replace you. For three hundred thousand dollars. True or false? Henry Matisse was well known for his artwork made by cutting out pieces of paper. Your classmate is locked in already. I don't know who this is. He's just a normal painter. I don't know. Fuck. Oh, now everyone knows I'm cheating. Oh wait, never mind. He does cut out a lot of stuff. The Red Studio, for example. Fuck. This better be right. Locking in. You've got three hundred thousand dollars. Come up with the right okay. answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? <laughs> Jeff, we've been over this. I'm thirty-five years old. I, I don't know if you have dementia or something. You just keep saying the same thing over and over again to me. L. Frank Baum intended his Oz books to be what kind of story? I think they were supposed to be dramatic fiction. I don't know what took you so long to come up with that answer. Because it's I wrong. Know that it's wrong. Fuck. Ugh. Wow. Save me, save me, save me. Sure about that one too. Save me, save me, save me. Only your partner can help you now. Save me, save me, save me, save me, save me, save me. And the fifth graders have done it again. Oh, that your that was close. Really George, you is your name George? Time. I don't fucking care. You just saved my fucking Thank you butt. So much, buddy. The million dollar question. Let's see the subject of the million dollar question. And there it is, <sighs> the million dollar Fuck. subject. Now you'll need to make the call. I'm search this up, it's go fine. for the million or drop out and walk away with I'm going for it, Jeff. Play, Jeff. I'm gonna go for it. 
The million dollar question is, whose death marked the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Julius Empire? Caesar. I have to type this in. Oh, how do you spell Julius Caesar? How do you spell Julius Caesar? I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. Oh, where's the R? Lock it in. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose $475,000 and walk out of here with $25,000. Oh boy. You've won one million dollars! I can't believe it! Yes! We did it. Ah! I am smarter than a fifth grader. I am smarter than a fifth grader.